Hey, it's Tanya and I'm here with the weekly sketch and this time it's by Lorene Wagner and if you haven't noticed yet I have new video software and it's all very exciting and it's all a learning curve so um, if this has sped up too fast I apologize but uh, yeah it's it's really exciting anyway so what am I doing I have the photograph of my two daughters and because the sketch had that really large uh, photograph obviously I blew this one up and I thought I got it 12 by 12 but evidently I hadn't so now I'm just trying to decide which one of the pattern papers I'm going to use just to border it so that I can get it on the page and it fills up the entire 12 by 12 and of course I didn't get it straight so then I had to put it back down again eh the vexation that comes with scrapbooking so yeah um all I'm doing is trying to decide which way I'm going to put it and I take uh, what else do I take well I'm really set on that spotty paper you'll see it comes back out again but this is the third layout I've made with these June kits so I still have loads of stuff to work with you see I went back to the original blue and that spotty paper and I decide I'm happy with that and I don't know if you noticed, but when I cut it down, I actually left the branding strip on it. So, yeah, I, I liked those. They're like raindrops, aren't they? I think this is a chamel paper. Yeah. And, yeah, you will have known that, um, if you are a follower of mine, that there were those awful fires when uh, in my parents' town. And, yeah, I very much doubt that the... that it looks like that now. Yeah. Very sad. But uh, it's nice, and that's actually what I wanted to do with this photograph. It's kind of, I wanted to record the fact that that's how the town looked at that stage. You know, obviously I'm concentrating on my daughters because those are, you know, my prime focus. But the background of the photograph is also something to, to remember. And yeah, if I do any journaling, which I'm actually very naughty, I don't do much journaling at all. If I do some journaling, I will add in the fact that I wanted to remember the town as it looked then. It will look like that again, I know, but it's going to take a long time. So what am I using? I'm taking a lot of the Vicky Booten die cut elements that we got in the kits. We got two, one in the pocket life kit and one in the main kit and I'm just trying to come up with a design where I'm happy with it because I'm going to have this rather large cluster at the top right there. Yeah, sorry about that, I got interrupted. Anyway, I was saying that I'm going to make the large cluster at the top right and now I'm trying to think what can I put on the top, top, bottom left to balance it out. It's actually not too bad because because of the or you know where my daughters are standing in the photograph they already give a bit of weight to the bottom so I don't actually think I need to do all that much and then I decide to glue everything down in the manner that I had decided yeah so I'm just placing them again where I had them and I love that you can do amazing things it's just really pretty the font is nice and ah, I just thought it tied in and I got a little birdie on because I like that too. Oh, and then I thought what I would do is cut out, I've seen, I think Missy did it, she cut out the hot air balloon from this PL 3x4 card and put it on, but I don't know, when I placed it down, I couldn't really get it working. This is very slow fussy cutting. Maybe I haven't sped this up fast enough. <laughs> See, it's not bad, but I just decided I didn't like it because I think the problem was you couldn't see the basket, so it didn't really look like a hot air balloon. Now you can see I'm trying to make it work and thinking, oh, and my head. Tanya, get your head out of the video. My goodness me. And so, yeah, so then I abandoned that idea <laughs> very swiftly. <gasps> so the bird is back. And, oh, I do faff. Gosh, woman, get on with life, really. Oh, and I'm contemplating it again, but no, no, I do decide not to use it. And so I have now got it all glued down, and you might be able to see I stitched along that little branding strip I put at the top of the photo, and I've got one of those nice metal clips on, and now I'm faffing again. Oh, and down below you'll see I've got another one of those. They're Pink Fresh Studio, aren't they? those yes you can do amazing things and the live something down the bottom there so yeah now I'm thinking and I briefly decide to put in that gigantic yellow element but no that was a little too much because 
pretty sure I was saying it before, because of, because of my kids being there, they're already lending the weight. So now it's just a case of seeing how much more I can put on. And I contemplate the arrow, but I don't like that. And then another arrow goes all over the page. Quite like it there, but I don't seem to leave that there. No. I don't actually quite like that. Ah, out come the buttons. These are exclusive buttons. They were designed by Kimberly for us, for the kids, and they are really pretty. So put a couple of those down. And now what am I doing? Oh, just putting in a little bit, a little bit more, a couple of circular elements at the top there. I actually, no, don't I? My gosh. I shouldn't try and voice record these after a, a while because <laughs> I seem to have completely forgotten what I've done. Oh, and I don't even think that poor flower makes it either. Nope, nope, flower goes back. I think because I feel I've got, you know, pretty much enough here. But yes, I do then take, that's the Crepe Paper Oasis collection. I get a couple of those tiny word phrases on because that always, I personally think, that always completes a layout very nicely. I don't know how I'm going to use that blown up swan. Mm. I'm going to have to be very creative with some of these elements and these kids. <laughs> but I shall do my best. Ah, and that gigantic Bella Boulevard sticker sheet comes out. And I get, I do get that heart on. I'm sure I do. Yep, there it goes. And what else? Oh, the finger tapping, the thinking, the thinking. There was so much thinking going on. I did like that though, that little pop of blue there and then I figure I need to repeat it up the top there and I honestly don't think I do much more also because I can see the video is coming to an end oh that's right I put stars on so yes so I get the stars on and that's about it so I do hope you enjoyed the video and yes me and my learning curve with my new video software and please join us in the Facebook forum to uh, share with us what you do with these sketches and I'm going to say goodbye now take care bye bye